Fly High for Fun production. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. All right, guys, we're going to jump right in here. Today's video is going to be uh, how to clean up your rat nest of wires that's inside your Kabul Wolf King. As you can see here, uh, there's excessive amount of wires here. And so we're just going to go through this and we're going to show you guys how to get it tidied up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take out the main battery that will allow us to have a little bit more space. All right, so first things first here. Uh, we're going to start with this wire here, um, which is very, very excessively long. So um, there's roughly about a foot of wire that's just sitting in this box. It, it makes no sense to have this much wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this wire back, put some new fittings on here, and reduce the amount that's just left in that box cluttering it up. All right, so go ahead and check the diagram. And you can follow me on this. There is a yellow and green wire which connects to a black and red wire and that wire leads to the main controller. Then we also have a black and red wire that connects to the orange and white wire which leads to the secondary controller. Here you'll see I used a four-way connector. We ran the cable roughly the length of the scooter and we removed about a foot of excessive cable that was just sitting there wasting space. Here is a still photo of the four pin connector. Next up, shortening the horn cables. All right, if you have a multimeter, what you can do is you can put one, your uh, multimeter on connect conductivity and you can put one of your probes there on one of your wires and you can take the other probe. And this wire, if you look at it here, uh, there's a wire coming from the main controller that's black and, and red, and it goes into a black and white cable. Now, there's two blacks wires on one side, and there is a white cable on the other. That splits out, and if you look, there's a wire that's coming from the front of the scooter, has a black and red wire, and it has the black and white cable. If you take this cable apart and you touch it with your, your probe here, you're going to get the sound. That's how you know that's the wire. So this, this one here is the wire that we're going to focus on next, making it shorter. All right, so what I'm going to do is just cut this wire here. And uh, we'll go ahead and put a fitting on it. And I'll do that off camera. I'll come back when, when we're done. Okay, so we just basically shortened that wire. Uh, we had this much excess of wire just uh, hanging around, cluttering up. And as you can see, there's so many wires in this one space that you want to try to reduce as much as possible. So this is what we have. This is for the horn. And this is uh, connected to that existing cable, that black and white cable. Next, we'll be working on the uh, headlight, headlight wire, which is uh, this long wire here. So we'll just do the same thing that we did with the horn. We'll do with this. So we'll probably shorten this up. Cut it back about right here and do the same thing. All right, so we have about six inches of cable here. We're going to cut it about right here. Okay, so we got that one taken care of. Next up. See how long that wire is? It is very excessive, so we're going to cut that back about the same length. And we're going to uh, do the same thing as we did with the rest. All right, those were the Eco Cable Turbo Dual Blade Cables. Here is the excess that we don't need. And if you check the orientation, 
you want to make sure that your wires are matching up at the same color on the same side you got the green green yellow yellow and then on this wire you got the black blue red and you want to hold the wires the same orientation you got the black blue red so simply just unplug this plug it in here and unplug this plug it in here all right so now we again got rid of this long piece of cable that was cluttering up the space all right so next we're going to start working here on the hall wires uh, there's three on each motor so you have the green blue and yellow so that's three wires there you got three wires for the front and then you have two positives one for each controller and you have two negatives one for each controller so with that I went out and I purchased a 10 circuit terminal block so we're going to use this uh, to wire all those wires in here and then this should keep everything nice and tidy so what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to cut each one of these wires and I'm going to use one of these connectors here we'll put one of those on each one of the wires and then uh, we'll get the terminal serial bus uh, wired in So there you have it. Pretty much uh, all the wires been pretty much wired back up. You have the positive and the negative. The positive and the negative. That needs to be connected from the battery. So once you put the battery back in, I'll probably just go ahead and take those bullet connectors off and just add one of these on each positive and negative. There's two positives and two negatives. And then those will tap in right here. And that's pretty much it. All the wires in here as neatly as possible. Um, I trimmed out a lot of a lot of wires uh, in the process. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching my video and give me a thumbs up, a like, and please subscribe.